We now have our diameter down to 138 and it's very slightly less on the end and I do that on purpose so that it has a little bit of easier starting point. And then so the next thing what we're going to need to do is go ahead and uh, remove the T-rest the here just to get that out of the way. And we'll be lining up the tip of this with the end here and we'll be backing it with our uh, tailstock so to help keep us perpendicular so we have a straight cut into the screw. So let's get a different angle just so we can see, see this at work. Alright, we're going to bring our piece of brass right up to the die there, line it up, and let the bottom handle hit the bed to be as our support. Now, and then just start turning by hand. Let's see, I'm trying to see what I'm doing here. There we go. And it's starting to starting to work there. Maintain your perpendicular stance. And you can see it cutting. Cutting into the stock there, and we're making a screw. And you can just do this by hand, you don't have to uh, use any power from the lathe. Takes a little bit of muscle to do it, but you got to bring that die all the way up to the edge of that screw. And you'll feel it stop just like that. And then we just unscrew it. And there we have our nicely made screw. Now the next thing we need to do is get a, our parting tool out and part that off. Now there's no magic distance that you need to go. I just take a guesstimate and I just start cutting through. And that looks pretty good. So I'll just cut it right there. There. Cut it right off. And I've got our little screw in there in order to get that out you can take one of the punches we made earlier and then just push it out just like that now we're going to go ahead and put it in this vise because now we're going to have to make a slot in there now what we'll do is we'll take a jeweler saw with a really fine blade and find the center and there looks to be the center right there and start sawing a groove Get a groove started. Just like that. Let's see a close up view of it. Right there's our little groove. Now, the next thing we'll do is we'll go out and get one of our. Uh, screw head files and this is something new that I'm going to introduce to you right now. Here's a screw head file and it looks like this and I've got a set of four of them and I've got my little chart here that I've made for myself and this is a, a number M3 which is a 24 thousandths of an inch and uh, it's got its uh, filing edges it's, it's, it's not, uh, it doesn't cut in the center just on the outside edges and it's nice if you have these because it really makes it handy when making screws. But if you don't have one of these, you can certainly uh, saw the, the uh, space that you need in a screw with, uh, with the jeweler saw. But if you have one of these, it makes it real handy because it makes, because uh, as you can see, they come in different widths. So you can really custom, custom make the width of the uh, screw that you need. 
And so I'm going to uh, file this down some more and then we'll look at the finished product. And here's our finished screw. Now the groove in there well, this, for the slot, as far as how deep you need to make it, I would say about half the uh, depth of the screw head itself, as you can see. And then this would fit a screwdriver real easily to turn into your uh, work, whatever you're working on. Let's see how it fits in here. Now the hole that I've made into this piece is not deep enough for this screw, so it's only going to go that far. But you can see how nicely that looks.